Hello, everybody. This is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. We are creating a strawberry fairy card. So I'm going to be stamping and coloring these fairy images from the Fairy Friends set. And it's going to be very quick, straightforward coloring. I'm going to do their dresses in three different colors using a light, medium, and dark shade of Copic. Then I'll do their skin in a warm brown. And then we'll do their hairs in different colors and then their wings in a light blue. Super quick and easy to do. Because the areas are so small, it doesn't take a whole lot to blend. And for the hair, I'm using lots of quick flicking motions and that'll just make it look stringy. So that's super quick and easy to do as well. Now once I'm done coloring, I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighting here with my white gel pen. And then to give the wings a bit of shimmer and shine, I'm going to be using the sparkle glaze on them. It comes in a little tube, kind of like the glue tube for the regular adhesive. So we're just going to go ahead and squeeze some out here. I'm just going to try to spread an even layer over all of the wings. And then I'll set them aside to dry while we work on ink blending all of our strawberry pieces as well as ink blending our background. To create my large strawberry house as well as the extra strawberry pieces, I am using the outside in strawberry on the left there. And then there's this treehouse die that I'm going to use the dwarf frame for as well as the window and doorknob. And then for accessories for the background and some foliage, I'm going to pull in this strawberry patch die. And I've got everything die cut here. We have cilantro cardstock for the green. And then for the reds, we have raspberry cardstock. And then for the backing on the yellow, for the seeds to pop through, I used number two pencil cardstock color. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink blend all of these pieces with lobster ink, just to give them a bit of shading, and then we'll work on the greens. Now for the reds, it does look a bit more intense here, but as it dries, it looks like I didn't apply any ink at all. So my tip would be to go darker. The green isn't an issue, but the red definitely faded away as it dried. So with the green, I am using clover ink and I'm just ink blending all around the edges to give them some shape and body and a little bit more dimension with the shading. So on these clusters of leaves here, I know it's kind of hard to get into the crevices, but you really just want to add color on one side to give it a little bit of highlighting. Now I die cut some hillside borders here just for some grounding for our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink blend that with some residual clover ink that was on my brush. For my background, I'm gonna be using some Distress Oxide inks in Tattered Rose, Worn Lipstick, and Seedless Preserves. This is my favorite pink combination. And I'm using Distress Oxide inks because it's a little creamier and a little bit easier to blend. It does look splotchy at first, but the more you apply, the more that's going to blend because there is more ink there to work with each other. So I'm going to work from the bottom up. I've used the lightest color in Tattered Rose, then I've added the Worn Lipstick, and now I'm going in with the Seedless Preserves. And once I've applied a good layer of all three colors, I'm going to go back in with the Medium Worn Lipstick, overlapping it with the Seedless Preserves, and working it back and forth until you're happy with that blend. Another tip that I have as well for easy and smooth blending is to go in both directions. So in circular motions, go counterclockwise and clockwise to get that smooth blend. And this is completely optional, but I like to spritz my Distress Oxide blended panels with some water just to give it a bit of texture. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some foam adhesive for the hillside border here that I ink blended earlier. And I'm leaving the center portion hollow because I know that I'm gonna tuck in my strawberry there to ground it some and then to also make it look like my door is level with the ground when I adhere that to the strawberry house. So I've backed the strawberry up with the number two pencil panel, and then I've applied some foam adhesive to match the height of that hillside border. And I will go ahead and attach the parts for our door, just piecing it all together. First the frame, then in laying that yellow, which is from sticky note cardstock, just to show some light coming through the window frame. And for that wood grain cardstock for the door, it's just wood grain light brown cardstock that I ink blended with the same green ink that I used for all of the foliage and hillside. I'm gonna attach my strawberry stem here with some foam adhesive as well to match the rest of the height. And then I'll piece together the rest of the smaller strawberries. 
And once I pull in my foliage, I realize at this point that I should have adhered that down first because there's really not a whole lot of space to tuck them in. And I guess I could have trimmed it, but I decided to pull the whole strawberry house up. And I wanna show you my card maker's best friend undo adhesive remover here. Now it only removes double-sided tapes and adhesives, not liquid adhesives. So I can pull up this entire strawberry once I apply a layer of it on the back of my card and I just lift everything up easily. Again, it only works for foam and double-sided adhesives, not liquid adhesives. And as you can see, it doesn't mess up any of your inking. It won't destroy your watercoloring or Copic coloring either. I never plan a prototype before creating, so this is really my best friend for when I change my mind on things. So when I'm done creating my strawberry scene, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here with some strawberry blooms. I'm just gonna piece the little flowers together and then adhere them over in various areas of my car to fill in the open spaces. And then what we'll have left to do is just to adhere the fairies. So I've attached foam for this one fairy in the top left-hand corner, and then I'll adhere the other two with liquid adhesive right onto the already foamed areas on my card. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a sentiment. This sentiment is from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on set. And when I apply embossing powder, I like to tap it into the Versamark ink or whatever embossing ink that you're using. If you just tap it and let it sit there for just a second before flicking the excess off, you'll get a much better embossed sentiment or just any embossed image. That's just a, a little tip or something that I like to do to ensure that I get good embossing. So I've heat set that and I've trimmed it down and now I'm gonna use my little T ruler here to make sure that that's straight before adhering my entire panel to a card base to finish my card. I hope you enjoyed this card. Be sure to check out the coordinating blog post to get more details on color combinations if you missed it in this video and also check out the links below in the descriptions since everything will be linked for your convenience. Thanks again for stopping by and have a wonderful day everyone. Bye.